Hey folks out there, this is TBPB. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Orcarina of Time, Minimalist Quest. Okay, so, um, after completing the Dongo's Cavern and, you know, getting the spin attack from the Great Fairy and all that, um, I did a little, uh, I guess some side quests or whatever. I got a couple of Skulltulas, or Skulltula tokens, or whatever you call those, um, from the Great Deku Tree, and yeah, I figured out that I had missed some in, uh, Kakariko Village. So, I'm going to probably go back and get those, um, at a later time, I guess, um, or something like that. But yeah, um, okay, the waterfall just closed up, so I'm going to have to re reopen it using Zelda's Lullaby. Because I am the royal messenger. Um, but yeah, what awaits us behind this waterfall? Well, we'll find out today! Gotta wonder how a song could open up a waterfall. Or maybe there's some like Zora, or ooh, I'm not supposed to know that yet. Um, maybe there's some uh, water creature. Okay, yeah. Okay, Zora's domain. Okay, now I'm supposed to know there's Zora's. Um, I mean, if Zora River wasn't obvious enough, but you know, maybe there's some like gatekeeper up there that like controls the flow of the water. What do you have to say? Who are you? We are the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. So, you say you have some connection with Hyrule Royal Family. Well, what do you want from us? Oh, uh, okay, so we got mermaid people in this game. Alright. Well, something like that. Except they have feet. Instead of, um, tails. They still got fins, though, so, yeah. Okay, all the water in Hyrule flows from Zora's Fountain. Uh, you're just, like, bathing in it like it's nothing. Uh, we drink that water. Have some, um... Have some respect for the people down the river, you know? Like, they're just like, you know, they're just like soaking all the water in and all that stuff, you know, like just swimming around in it. You know, all that water does, if it, if what he says is true and it does flow all the way down to Hyrule, um, then, you know, all those people down there have to like deal with that. Ugh, it's nasty. Oh, this guy. I wonder um, who he is. Oh, King Zora, throne room. To hear the king's royal proclamations, stand on the platform and speak to him. Hmm. Okay, sure, why not? Oh, my dear sweet princess Rudo, where has she gone? I'm so worried. Oh, here we go. Um, so he's worried about his daughter, apparently, Princess Rudo. Uh, who, who knows where she's at? High dive practice by. Are you confident in your diving skill? Well, whenever there is trouble um, in a video game, folks, it's the perfect time to play side quest games. You know that, right? Um, just like any, uh, our, any, I know most Final Fantasy games, you know, believe in that logic. Because everyone knows that when the world is in imminent danger, the best thing to do is play side, or the best thing to do is side quests. Yeah, side quests. So, um, yeah, let's play this little mini game. Um, what we gotta do is dive down and pick up as many rupees as we can. Now, what you wanna do for this time is to pick up all of them. Um, I mean, it's pretty easy. It's only like five. And, um, you know, this is, I guess, the simplified version because he actually throws, a, uh, I think, a few more, um, when you play the game, like, normally. This is just, uh, they make it easy so you can get a certain item. You know, um, that's going to be required. Hey, congratulations. I got something very nice for you. Come and get it. Oh, so I have to walk all the way back up there. To, what, the screen's not going to just teleport me back or something? Eh, oh well. Okay, so, um, you know, I got to say, I got to like the visuals of this place. You know, it's just, um, it's just one of those things, I guess, that just gets overlooked because, you know, you're so busy walking up and down these slopes and stuff. You never really just take time to look around in this place. You know, Goron City, you know, had its, uh, had its own little atmosphere, if you want to call it that, too. You know, I, I, personally, I like Zora the Domain a little better. Yeah, I guess that's just me. What a graceful dive. Now, please, take this. This is a scale of our kind. 
With this, you can dive much deeper underwater. Ah, so we get the silver scale. So, all right. I like to have a gold scale, but I guess silver's okay too. Okay, so yeah, got the silver scale. Jump in the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. So pretty much, you you may have noticed this, um, viewers. Uh, okay, anytime you see dive and then you hold down A to dive, a number appears, and it'll keep on counting down and counting down. Um, I guess uh, you can say that's like Link's um, air. I guess it's it's really more more accurately to say it's his uh, how far down he could dive. Um, so right now he can only dive down six meters, but that's just enough for us to go through the secret passage. Yeah, this is this is a shortcut to get to Lake Hyla, folks. Oh yeah, but we're not gonna get an intro or anything until we enter the proper way. So, I am Azora. Yeah, I seen like about five of y'all already. Um, have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into this lake. Oh really? Well, let's take a look. Oh, Navi appears. She's it appears she's found something. Um, what's that? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Okay, well, let's um dive down and see what it is, shall we? And he's floating without using his hands. Can a person really do that, like in water, viewers? I mean, I really don't know. Like, um, <laughs> to be honest, I don't uh know how to swim or anything like that. Um, you know, I could probably. Uh, if I tried really hard, I could probably float, maybe. But you know, I can't swim for nothing. Um, you know, I could probably teach myself. Um, I just really haven't had the opportunity. Uh, but yeah, we got a, a bottle with something inside of it. Weird. Um, let's check it out. <laughs> Look at Link. Huh? It looks like there's something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Ooh, a letter. Letter in a bottle. Help me. I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Rudo. Wait. Princess Rudo? P.S. Don't tell my father. So wait. So she's inside the belly of Jabu Jabu. What the heck? I, I, I don't even know who Jabu Jabu is. That's even more, um ominous whoa that's crazy and how is she able to send a bottle it's it's almost like uh it almost kind of reminds me of uh pinocchio hell i think um well I, I forgot how that happened but i don't know if there was like a bottle and a letter maybe that was just jimmy cricket um in a bottle or something like that Okay, but yeah, Zora's Fountain is the source of the river. Lord Jabby Jabby lives in the fountain. Okay, so we got even more creatures in the um, water source of Hyrule. So yeah, that's just lovely. Okay, so he's the deity, apparently, of the Zoras. So Princess Rudo is in charge of preparing his meals morning and night. Uh-oh. Well, we can probably guess how she got uh, ate or eaten. Or whatever the proper tense of the word is. So, I guess the only thing we can do now is show this letter to the king. Because, I mean, obviously he's worried about his daughter. And this is the only connection. So, But you gotta wonder how they would never have figured this out. Like, I mean, don't people, like, escort the princess, you know, everywhere she goes or something like that? I mean, she is a princess. Um... <laughs> Let's see, she's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. That's impossible. Um, our guard, guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Rudo. But since that stranger Ganondorf, oh, here we go, came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. Um, the evidence seemed clear. Of course she'll go find Rudo. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. Um, I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle, Rose, and take it respectfully. What do you mean, take it respectfully? It was just a bottle we found at the bottom of the lake. Um, 
whatever. And then he said Zora at the end of his sentence. I don't understand why he said that. But. Yes, and this part takes freaking forever because he slowly inches his way out of the passageway and it just takes so long and it's so pointless why did they have to incorporate this cutscene like this okay we're done um now before we actually go in there there's something i want to get real quick um now that we finally have a bottle um well, I would like to put a fairy in it, but unfortunately, um, that's not the case. What I gotta do is get a fish. Um, because, as you probably guessed, um, you know, since Princess Ruto was feeding uh, Lord Jabba Jabba, uh, he probably, well, I mean, it was probably through, through meal time um, was when, you know, he ate her, obviously. Um, so, we, you'll need to give him some food in order for him to open his mouth so we can Oh, go inside. Ugh. I was afraid of this. I was hoping this wasn't going to happen, but yep. Apparently, we're going to have to go inside something in this game, viewers. Yeah, it's not going to be pretty. Um, but, well, let's see what we can do. All right, Zora's found. Whoa, that's a big fish. Okay, this is it, viewers. <sighs> it's time to take a deep breath and jump in. Zora's found. Don't deserve Lord Jabba Jabba. King Zora the sixteenth. At least I think that says sixteenth. Um. Wow, yes. It's one big fish. Um, okay, Lord Jabba Jabba, um, I'm gonna give you a piece of fish now. Just, just get this over with. I don't, I don't wanna. Um, don't, don't, don't chew on me, please. But I, I gotta get Princess Ruta out of you. That's, you can't have that. Uh oh, he ate the fish. He's eating Link! No! And he dies. Or not. Ah, so we're inside Jabu Jabu's belly. What awaits us in the depths of this uh um deity of a beast or something like that. Well, find out next time, viewers, on Let's Play Orcarina of Time, Minimalist Quest. This is TVPB. See you guys later.